In the time of Princess Ruth Ke'elikolani, our kupuna flourished within our own mother tongue. From Hawai'i to Ni'ihau, our Ololo Makuahine was the kahua for our cultural practices, school systems, and even business transactions. With the Hawaiian language ban in 1896, Ololo Hawai'i could no longer be taught in educational institutions and quickly began to decline. Without the ability to teach it, individuals like Mary Kavenepuku'i saw the need to collect all the ikikupuna and document it in puke, recordings, and mo'olalo to preserve for the future generations. Decades later, we find language revitalization at the forefront of the Hawaiian Renaissance. With Ololo Hawai'i at the front of our minds, we were able to access the cultural knowledge preserved by kupuna like tutupuku'i and create classes specializing in our ololo, bring back certain cultural practices and mo'olalo, and eventually institute a Hawaiian immersion preschool. With the opening of Pu Nanaleo in 1984 by Ko Alolo Hawai'i like Larry Kimura, we ensured that our kiki would have a way to learn their mother tongue. Now, in 2020, with the upcoming year marking a century of song contest, we ponder on how to move forward as a language. We don't have to wonder whether or not the language will survive, but rather, how do we make it thrive? Written and composed by Namu Oho Oheno Leo Oivi, this mele, titled Kaleo Kupa o Kaaina, acknowledges those who have stood up for our right to learn, teach, and utilize Ololo Hawai'i. And as we come into a century of song contest and a new age for our Lahui, we recognize that it is our kuleana as future alaka'i, kumu, and kupuna to pave the way for our keiki and mo'opuna to learn and thrive within our own Ololo Makuahine. O ka olalo ka ayali ilani e olai ka lahui, e ola mau ka Ololo Hawai'i. Oh, 
Oh, I. 